also have breaking news this noon and the deadly duck bone accident that claimed the lives of 11, because we have nine Indianapolis family members. The only two survivors of the Coleman family, Tia Coleman and her nephew Donovan. They're now out of the hospital where they were treated in Missouri. And more breaking news at this hour. The Coast Guard has just recovered the sunken boat in Table Rock Lake. The boat was submerged in 80 feet of water. Divers swam down below the surface and connected it to a crane, which lifted it to the surface. It will then be taken to a secure facility for further inspection and investigation where the National Transportation Board will maintain custody of it. The divers have already recovered a video recording device that was aboard that boat, although it's unclear right now whether it was working when the boat capsized on Thursday or whether any data can be retrieved. Well, this is the last photograph the Coleman family took just shortly before that boat trip. Tia Coleman lost her husband, Glenn, their three children, her in-laws, her husband's uncle and sister, and a nephew. The community has come together in a huge way to support the survivors, so far donating about $450,000 through a GoFundMe account. Another way you can help is to pray, and tonight there will be a prayer vigil for the family at Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. That's Tia's grandmother's church. It is so important, especially in these days of time, to show love, compassion, and to show that uh, really that we, we are one as a community. She's a part of Indianapolis community, and we need to show that love and support for her at this time. Everybody's just so devastating. I'd just like to thank everyone for being in our corner. So if you can, come out, support us, and just keep us in your prayers. The church there can accommodate 2,000 people. The vigil begins at 7 o'clock. The church is located at 1003 West 16th Street. That's near the corner of 16th and Montcalm. The funeral for Tia Coleman's husband and three children is set for Friday. It will be held at Grace Apostolic Church located at 649 East 22nd Street. The viewing will now be at 8 a.m. That's a new time and the funeral at noon. Services for the other members of the family have not yet been set. 